Glowing Scribble known FX pack is After Effects package. When you extract this package, you can find two folder. The first one is known FX pack and the second one is updated of the known FX pack for live view extension. We start with known FX pack, which you don't need any program or extension for using this package. On this folder, you can find catalog and of course short tutorials to helping you to use this package. And of course, you can find more tutorials on our YouTube channel that name it Motion Till. We try to explain each part of this product on this tutorial. This package contains two type of files. The first one is the After Effects template that you can import the compositions on your composition and using them. And the second one is Neon FX script that you have to install it on your After Effects and use it. We open the elements package on this After Effects template. On this folder, you can find over the 300 composition. And on each of them, you can find layer that name it controller. The controller have the things that you need for adjusting your items. For example, I will change the color random to 100. And when you want to use them, just you have to drag them on your project. The second part of this package is known FX script that you can find the extra documentation about it in this readme.txt file. You have to copy .jsx file and this folder into the script UI panel folder, which is in your After Effects program install it folder. Here we go and copy this folder and file. And after copying this file, you can restart your After Effects and find the script in window menu. As you see, the script name is Neon FX version 1.2.jsx. We will click on it. Okay, this is the script. This is script created for editing the footage and of course compositions. So you need to select a composition for applying these effects on it. You can select each item of Neon FX Pack and select this colors for applying the color on it. I open example footage for applying this effects on it. So select the start of applying time and click on the effect that you want. As you see the new composition created and some effects applying on it. On this type of effect, Roto Brush and Refine Edge applied on your footage layer. And you can use this tool for defining where you want the effect applying on it. And you have to know if your footage have alpha channel, you don't need this effect and you can turn off this effect and everything will apply on it without using roto brush. You can change the size of brush and draw where do you want to this effect applying. You can add brush by drawing where do you want and you can subtract the brush by holding down the alt key. For more details you have to see the roto brush tutorial. Okay, after finishing the roto brush, you have to close this composition that created by the script. As you see the effect applied on it, you can see what happening on your footage. You can remove the composition that created and everything will come back to the before of applying the effect. 
and there is not any problem or there is not any change on your composition. It's just created on new composition on top of your composition or footage. You can select the new composition that created with this script and change the colors by clicking on this color palettes on here. You can find the controller layer on the composition and you can change too many factors that we added on it. For example, with glowing intensity and radius colors and other things that you can see in here. For another example, I will use a text layer to apply this effects. As you know, the text layer have alpha channel, so you don't need to use roto brush to applying effect on it. Just you have to attention, you have to convert the layer to composition or footage. So I pre-compose this text layer. Just select the time that you want and apply the effect that you can see in here. A text layer have alpha channel. So you don't need the road brush effect and you can turn off this effect. As you can see it's appear on here. When you are roto brush effect, you have to be ensure that you render every frame of your footage. This line in here appear because uh, your roto brush doesn't work on all of your frame and you have to render each frame. I change the color random and of course I will add a little bit glitch on it. And uh, you can uh, animate on the text and this effect will applying on the animated text. It will work on it and there is not any problem. Let's see the result. When you select the composition effect, you can find this controller that is about animating in and animating out frames and you can change it if you want to change it to, for example, five or six frame or you want to be more um, glitch on start and end of this layer. Okay, let's take a look on the version that we created for live view extension. You know the live view is new extension and on the beta version. So maybe there was a bug or a problem during of using this extension. And we will be happy if you comment us about the problems or sending a screenshot about the problems that we will fix it. And you have to know this extension is completely free for using. You can find live view on our website that name it motiontil.com and download it from here. And of course you can find how to installing link from here. You have four ways for installing ZXP file. But we recommend you that use ZXP installer that created by a script website. After the installing ZXP installer, open your live view.zxp file and it will be installing on every program that is compatible with it. Okay, now just restart your After Effects and you can find this extension on the window menu and extension tab. And now you don't need this script and all of this package and script will import in this extension. The only work that you have to do for importing the package is hitting this plus button and select list.live view file. 
The package list will import in your extension and will save on it. Uh, I forgot to tell you that you have to restart it on the first time that you install it. So I will restart it. As you can see, all of the packages are in here. And you can view it, and of course with video of preview. This extension will help you to select and import it easily on your project. And another ability that this extension have is the picture preview and video preview. When you mouse over the items on the package, you can see the preview. Just hit on each of them that you want and it will import in your project. And you can drag the composition on your project. So for the example, I create a composition and I will drag it in my composition. Each element of glowing scribble package have a layer of controllers and you can change the factors and the things that you can see in here in the effect control window. When you select item in live view extension, you only import the item that you selected. So it will helping you and managing the memory and lowest pressure on your system so i will import some of them that you can see how is it and it is the fast progress of importing the second part of this project is known fx pack script this script create the composition with the effects that you can see in here. As you see, you can see the results on the preview. And the only work that you have to do is selecting a footage or a composition and click on one of them. For the example, I will import a footage and I will apply one of this effect on it. Just select the footage or composition and the time that you want and click on the effect that is in here. The effect applied and you have to use the rotor brush for the footage with no alpha channel and turn off the rotor brush and refine edge effect. Turn off this effect if uh, your footage or composition have alpha channel like text or logo or uh, the footage that you remove it the background before importing in there. We have a small tutorial about the roto brushing and how to use roto brush on our YouTube channel and you can find it if you need to know what is the roto brush and how you have to use it on your project. Okay, I think it's enough for example of tutorial and uh, let's to see the result on the main composition that we applied this effect. As you see, the footage that we imported on here was smaller than the composition, the main composition that the footage was on it. So we need to change the scale of this composition and footage. But you know, when you are starting this project, you have to be sure that you are using a footage size or pre-compose it to be entire size of your composition. So you never had the problem like this. But I will fix it manually after applying the effect. You can see shy layer, that meaning hidden layers that you can see in here. Just rescale the layers so you have to change the composition size and the effect layer that is a solid size. After it, everything will be fine and working correctly. I have to assure you about the layer of the footage that you want to apply effect have to be bigger than 5 seconds. 
and when you have a footage smaller than five seconds and you want to apply this effects you have to pre-compose this layer to a more longer composition over the five seconds to applying this effect you can apply the colors that you want in the color folder and just you have to select the effect and that you apply it and apply the color that you want this extension created for manage your stuffs that uh, you have for creating your uh, graphics or uh, the videos of course you can add preview you can rename it and you can create your folders and add all of them on the folder that you have collecting all of your uh, things on a project and everything for managing for importing it on your project more faster and of course you can find the items that you want by searching it on here for example i will type a hat and add it in my composition thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment us on our youtube profile and under our videos it will help us to update our projects and extension we will be happy if you subscribe us on youtube thank you and goodbye